Hello out there everyone, today we're going to take a quick look at this Umbrella Entertainment Collector's Edition release of Red Rock West, a 1080p Blu-ray, and it's filled with some interesting supplements, and it's given this wonderful physical packaging with all kinds of accoutrements inside, which I'll show briefly. Uh, but I'll just tell you that this is one of my favorite Nicolas Cage films. I think it's one of his best performances. It combines um, sort of brooding stoicism with your standard rage cage. And I feel like every time he rages out, it's legitimate. Now, of course, the movie feels very akin to like a David Lynch or a Coen Brothers production. And um, stars, in fact, many of those, uh, many players from those types of films. You've got... Uh, Dennis Hopper, who of course was in Blue Velvet. You have Laura Flynn Boyle from Twin Peaks. You have Nicolas Cage from Wild at Heart, and uh, also J.T. Walsh. Um, so, and uh, Dwight Yoakam actually has a small turn as a um, truck driver. But it's just a wonderful film, and it, it definitely has uh, kind of like Blood Simple vibes running through it. Um, it's it's just a fabulous modern western noir <clears throat> with some great twists that are unpredictable and some really <clears throat> effective dramatic moments as well highly recommend the movie if you've not seen it and if you have give this uh release a look it's it's quite good here you've got the um, the, the goods inside are as follows you've got uh well first let me just show you the back at a loss to explain why an Apple iPhone doesn't know how to focus. But uh, as you can see here, this is the um, Amory case with the slip case. And it's got some great artwork. When we look at that, that's just wonderful. It has this booklet with essays and stills um, in it. And really interesting. Um, the production of the film and the release of the film are all very interesting because it initially was canceled, uh, the, the theatrical release was canceled um, for some unknown reason. I guess Polygram was the one who made that decision despite the fact that it had tested very well in the preview. Uh, and I think HBO ended up buying it and showing it on HBO. But... Um, it did get a limited theatrical release after some film festival um, showings, and you know Roger Ebert and Gene Siskel also gave it some high marks um, in their show for like you know unseen gems, um, one of their great episodes from I think '94. But yeah, it's just a, a wonderful character study with some uh, unpredictability thrown in, and is definitely a film that anyone who likes noir or Nicolas Cage or David Lynch or the Coen brothers owes, owes themselves uh, a watch. So on that note, we'll just leave it at that. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay safe out there and be kind. And by all means, keep watching the cinema.